All right, that's got it. Uh, I'm gonna do this three more times, and uh, the next thing we'll have to do is do some lathe work. Hi, I'm Billy, and this is Knox Machining. Welcome to the shop. All right, so I've got those axles cut and now I'm going to uh, face off one end of all remaining seven. And then when I'm finished with that, I'll flip them around and face off the other side and I'll use a collet stop so that I don't have to uh, measure each one. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Looks like that may be a little too fast. I'll slow it down a bit. There we go. That's better. All right. Let's swap out to uh, chamfer this. I'll come in and just chamfer the edge. There we go. And then I'll break the edge with a file. Okay, I have the call it stop in there. Uh, have everything zeroed out like I need to, so let's go for it. I'll put in the first one. All right, and I do have a bit of a stick out there. Uh, that's okay. Um, we're just doing some facing and some drilling. Uh, no turning, so should be all right. See how this works. Probably gonna have to take smaller cuts. And this here should be my set length. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and chamfer and deburr this one, and then I'm gonna pull it out and measure it and see how, how it is. And then if everything checks out, I'll do the other seven.
Okay, so the next step is to drill both ends and countersink. And then after we've done all uh, seven remaining parts, then we'll tap. So I'm gonna put the part in the collet. I'm not gonna lock it down. I'm gonna bring the tailstock up and I'm gonna let it kind of bump up against the carriage. And then I'm gonna bring in and touch the drill bit like so. And then turn it on. Back it off a of hair. Bring it back to zero. And drill my hole 600 thousandths deep. Well, I would if I'd locked the tailstock. Let's try that again. I'm not using a center drill. These are split point drill bits and they're stubby, so these are perfectly fine not having to use a center. These are those drill hog drill bits. the other end. Bring that in, lock it, Bring it on. And don't forget to lock the tail stock. And then I forgot to uh, countersink the other side. We'll go ahead and do that on this one and then I'll just have to remember to do it on each one. I've got a quarter 20 spiral flute tap. Laid the set for 105 RPM. Tail stock is unlocked. Plenty of lube on there. Slowly feed in. It's gonna catch. As soon as it's bottomed out, I'll turn it off. And then we'll reverse. And I've got pressure here on the tailstock so when it clears I can pull it all the way free. All right, I'll do that 15 more times and we'll be done. Okay, so I have some hot rolled one inch stock chucked up in the three jaw. Uh, we're gonna be turning this down to 900 thousandths. There's quite a bit of run out in this piece as you all see here in just a minute. Don't really care, we're gonna turn it down, it'll be fine. And we're gonna make some spacers and we're gonna make some washers. And uh, we're gonna do a little mini production run. We're gonna make four washers and then four spacers and rinse and repeat. I'll have to do it a total of four times. So let's get going. Let's go ahead and just face this off. Okay, so we need to make four washers and four uh, spacers. Um, all of them are going to be 900 thousandths OD. The washers are going to have uh, quarter inch uh, ID and the spacers are going to have a little over 5 eighths um, ID. All right. First thing I need to do is go ahead and turn this bar down. Figure out the Z. I'm going to go about an inch and a half in. That's 
enough. All right, we're gonna come on into the final dimension. I already had this set from our previous run. I found that uh, the stuff gives a much nicer finish with deeper cuts. Uh, the chips break. I'm running at 610 RPM. The feed rate is somewhere around two and a half thousandths per revolution. There we go. I do believe that's the best finished I've got out of that piece of material since I've been doing these operations. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and drill a hole. This is gonna be a quarter inch hole, as deep as I can get it with this stubby drill bit. I'm not center drilling because this is a split point stubby drill bit. It doesn't really need a center. Seems to work just fine. It's it was packing up a little bit. thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a parting tool. All right, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to essentially face off using this parting tool. And what I'm going to, what I'm doing here is I'm establishing a zero. We'll see why here in a minute. Okay, there we go. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to zero out my DRO. I'm going to put it in metric. My parting tool is two millimeters wide and I'm gonna come over two millimeters. Now I know this isn't exactly 100% accurate, but for what I'm doing, it's good enough. And I'm gonna put my part catcher in the tailstock. And I'm gonna zero out the Z, switch it back to Imperial, and I'm gonna come over 60 thousandths, which is the thickness of the uh, washers and spacers that I need. And I'm gonna part this off under power. cutting fluid. There we go. Turn that off. Zero out my Z. Come back out. Move over my two millimeters. And we're going to do the same thing three more times. out the part catcher here for our next size of drill bit. We're going to be going up to a 4164, slightly bigger than the 5 8 diameter 01 drill rod. This 
slow this machine. Lay it down to 105 RPM. Lots of cutting fluid. I think we're at depths. Oh, we are. All right. Switch it back out for the park catcher. Okay. Take it back up to 610 RPM. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to face this off with that parting tool because there's a chance that the drill bit pushed that material back into the chuck. So we'll just start with a nice clean face. There we go. I'll zero out the Z. And we're basically doing the same thing we did before. Come over two millimeters. Zero that out and coming over the 60 thousandths. And for this one, I'm just going to, on the power feeding, I'm going to do it manually because we don't have very far to go. There we go. There we go. Two more to go for this batch. Last one of this batch. There we go. All right, that is it. I'll take these parts over and uh, deburr them, and uh, I gotta make three more sets of these. Well, everyone, that's about all the time we have for this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thumbs up and comments are appreciated. And don't forget to ring the bell.